Uh, hello everyone, this is Arna Paisha, a final year student of Amitya University Noida Architecture. Uh, I have done my thesis project on an integrated handloom hub based in Suharkochi. The main idea behind picking up the project was to revitalize the art and culture of Suharkochi Milik village and to envisage Suharkochi as the next commercial hub of Assam. Swalkuchi is a beautiful scenic area situated on the northern banks of the magnificent Brahmaputra River around 35 km from Guwahati towards the west. A development block of Kamrup district with 8 gram panchayats, the total area of Swalkuchi is estimated to be 9.37 square kilometers. It is a weaver-centric region, also known as the Manchester of Assam. The population of Swalkuchi Development Block is 70,962, and the total number of weavers is 19,530, with 16,975 handlooms. The Swalkuchi Handloom Cluster covers 340 weavers working devotedly towards their progress. The Ahum rain brought vast progress in the handloom sector of Swalkuchi. Swalkuchi is home to the Golden Muga Silk of Assam. The main reason behind choosing this project is to address the issues faced by the local andloom weavers, affecting production and overall face of the industry. The issues are, lack of availability of raw materials at standardized rates, lack of a well-defined market platform, adulteration of Assam silk, and lack of proper infrastructure for small-scale weavers. The objectives of the project are, to study and loom weaving village and identify the issues that can be addressed through the scope of architecture. To formulate a project brief to address with the solution for the identified issues. To design a hub which stays within the spirit of the local community and uplifts the face of the industry. The idea is to stitch the activities related to andloom weaving under a single hub. The site is located in Kamrup Rural, 35 km away from Guwahati. It is well connected by the various modes of transit. It is located at the entry of the village. The site is abutted by the main Swalkuchi road of 9 meters and a secondary 5 meters road. The site is flanked by the weavers' settlements and the retail bazaars which are lower arised structures. The major functions of the project are, administrative, research and training, retail, bazaar, restaurant, auditorium and guest facilities, the zoning is done based on this hierarchy. The concept of the project is developed keeping in mind the nature of a village. The three main underlying abstracts are, the warps and wefts of a textile forming the grid of the site, the master street manifested in a vertical spatial experience, the chalk being the hub of activity in a village. The layout of the site is done in such a way that the major functions are supported by minor informal activities which further spill out into the open spaces. There are two entries into the site, namely, from the 9 meters road entering into the administrative block and the bazaar chalk, and the 5 meters road entering into the institute, guest house and auditorium. The chalks form the bridge of activities where there is a substantial variation in function at every juncture, the site is majorly pedestrianized with walking portals and sit-outs, use of bamboo is extensive along with fly ash bricks for construction. The silk emporium is the highest structure going up to four floors. On entering the site, we see D. Administrative Block. On the left flank, the administrative block consists of a VIP lounge, a silk yarn bank, a silk technology information center and the directorate offices. Moving on to the right flank, we see the bazaar chalk. 
the ticketing counter and the temporary stocking facility is present here. There is seating along the chalk. The local handicraft bazaar cottages are cordoned off by the arcade, which further spill out into open landscaped breakout spaces. The central chalk looks onto the exhibition cottages, the amphitheatre, the local handicraft bazaar, and the silk emporio. The Silk Emporio aims at branding of Assam Silk. It has about 50 shops. A local cuisine restaurant with an organic garden serves as a recreating and dining space. Entering from the 5 meter secondary road, there is a handloom design and Sericulture Research Institute with an open plaza with seating serving as a breakout space. There is a guest house with rooms for research scholars and families. There is a 500-seater auditorium envisaging a new horizon in the Andloom industry of Shuval Kuchi, a new tomorrow.